mighty T-Rex. I have a giant head and little tiny arms, but I'm the king of the jungle. Oh yeah, Mr. King of the jungle? Long neck brontosaurus coming through! Woohoo! Fritz, wouldn't it be cool if we saw real dinosaurs? Oh, it would be a dream come true. I think we'd both have so much fun together, riding dinos, sliding down their long necks. What an adventure! Braxley, Fritz, it's Johnny Sundown here. I need your help. I need you to go on an extraordinary mission for me. <laughs> an extraordinary mission for Johnny Sundown? Oh, you betcha! Braxley and Fritz, it's Dr. Timothy Von Tation here, and I need your help. I need you to go on an extraordinary mission for me. Von Tation, the evilest mastermind villain? <laughs> no, Kiki, he was referring to me as the evilest, not you. Von Tation? Yes, Johnny Sundown. Uh, Johnny Sundown? What are you doing here? Uh, can't you see I'm trying to recruit Fritz and Braxley to the dark side? I'm also trying to recruit Fritz and Braxley, but to glorify God and stop you. Ah, yes. Sounds like something you would do. Well, Braxley and Fritz, listen up. I will unleash a dinosaur army into the world. I am training them to help me take over the world. Except it turns out they're actually only wanting to drink tea and eat cookies. But they will be ferocious beasts when I'm done with them. <laughs> we'll never help you with your army, Vontation! Yeah! We'll see about that. Vontation, out. All right, you two. The mission is about to begin. But first, you need to watch the greatest story. Monkey Penny, hit the tape. Hello kids, I'm Oswald the Owl. Today's greatest story is the story of Abraham offering up Isaac. Abraham was a man who trusted God. When God told him to go, Abraham obeyed. One day, God told him to do something that Abraham did not understand. Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah, Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you. Was God really asking Abraham to sacrifice his only son? This was a hard thing. Abraham was probably confused. But even though it was a hard thing to do, Abraham obeyed God. He brought his son Isaac to the top of Mount Moriah. When he was there, Isaac said to him, the fire and the wood are here, but where's the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. Then Abraham was about to fully sacrifice his own son when God stopped him. Do not lay a hand on the boy. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up. And there in a thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. Mr. Roswald, why did God tell Abraham to sacrifice Isaac? That seems mean. It wasn't, Duffy, because God was in control and he wasn't going to let Abraham actually hurt Isaac. Oh, then why did he have him sacrifice? God was testing to see if Abraham loved God more than Isaac. God is the only one who is actually worth all of our affection. God was seeing if Abraham would obey him no matter what. God is glorified when we obey him. Oh, I want to obey God no matter what. That's good, Duffy, because God is absolutely good and he loves us. Years later, God would send his own son as a sacrifice for our sins. Jesus obeyed God fully and because of his death on the cross, we can be forgiven. That's awesome! so much faith in God. He really did, and because of that, he glorified God. That's so cool. I want to glorify God with my life, but how do I do that? <gasps> I think you just asked our Bible quest question. Yes, I need you both to find out how you can glorify God. 
you will find your reminders on the way and you will stop vontation. And your Bible verse is Philippians 1 verse 6. Want to say it together? And, and I, I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1 6. We won't let you down, Johnny. Great. I'll check in with you along the way. Good luck. Our Bible quest with real dinosaurs. Who knew? Woohoo! Okay, so all we need to do is find Vontation and stop him and then learn how we glorify God. That's a piece of cake! Hello, Braxley and Fritz. It looks like you're coming this way. I decided that I could still use your help. As it turns out, these dinos are really demanding. Who knew that dinosaurs could be such sophisticated snobs? Anyway, I have sent Kiki Bad Bad to you guys to help escort you to my dinosaur boot camp. Here he is. He is going to wow you with his amazing dance moves. Surely you will join the dark side then. <laughs> Vontation out. Kiki, uh we are going to help you even with your cool dance moves. No, we are going to come to the dark side no matter what. We follow God and we need to find out how we glorify God. Yeah, we really do love God. Oh look, that's our first reminder. So we glorify God by loving him? Yeah, I think that's the first step to glorify God. And that's right, you better run little monkey. We're coming to stop you. Come in, Fritz and Braxley. Did you find your first reminder? Yeah, it's to love God. Good work, you two. Yes, when we love God with all our hearts, we glorify him. That makes sense. Thanks, Johnny. Keep up the good work. Johnny out. Oh no, look, the path splits into two. Oh, it looks like we can either follow that easy looking path that takes us around the chasm, or we can go over the chasm on this old crickety bridge that's probably as strong as, hmm, a toothpick. Uh, I choose live. Thank you, bridge, but I think I'm gonna go this way. Wait, Fritz, look. This sign by the bridge says to trust God. I think we should go this way to get to Vontation. Oh, come on, Braxley. We don't want to die. Just take the easy path with me. Oh, oh look, I think I got a voicemail. Hello, Braxley and Fritz. <laughs> it's your buddy, your old pal, <laughs> Timothy Vontation. Please help me, please. I, uh, these dinos, all they want to do is eat cookies and drink tea. And uh, they spill all over the floor, and all I have to do is clean. I can't get them to do anything evil. I need more evil masterminds. So uh, please help me if you can. Um, I hope to see you soon. <laughs> and uh, by the way, take the easy route. That's the best way to go. Anyways, Vontation out. Did you hear that, Braxley? Vontation says to take the easy path. Let's go. I have a feeling that we should have gone on the bridge and trusted God. Oh, relax. Look at how easy it is. There's nothing to worry about. Except oh. maybe those. Uh oh. Ah! 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 Oh, my goodness, I'm melting, melting. What a one. Oh, no. You two need to go back to that bridge. Go, go, go. We're sorry, Johnny. Yeah, we just thought that following the easy looking path would be easier, and Vontation told us to! You should never trust Vontation. He's evil and he doesn't have good plans for you. But you know what? You can always trust God. He made you and loves you, and we glorify God by trusting him. That's the next reminder! So you're saying we should take the bridge that says trust God? Yes, take the bridge. We can always trust God, and it will show that he alone is in control. So he alone gets the glory. Thanks, Johnny! We couldn't do it without you! Keep going, you're almost there. Wow! Thank you, God, for helping us across that bridge! Look! There's all those dinosaurs right over there! I bet Timothy Vontation isn't far! I need to get ready! What's our Bible verse again? I want to glorify God this time! 
And but I am sure of this, that, that he who began a good work, work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1, 6. God will help us! Let's go! This is over, Montation! Yeah! Oh, uh, Fraxley and Fritz, uh, just the people I need. I need your help! Oh, we're not gonna help you! You're trying to take over the world! No, not that. I literally need your help. There's so many chores to do. You see, unlike all my other geniusly evil plans, this one backfired. I, I thought I would make these dinosaurs into my army and they'd serve me, but apparently it's the other way around. <laughs> I'm serving them! <laughs> uh, they drink tea and cookies all day and I have to clean and vacuum and Kiki over there. <laughs> well, he's not even pulling his weight around here. <laughs> no, don't get sharp with me. Well, I don't even know why you're wearing that apron. <laughs> it, it's, 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 a, it's not even an apron, it's a towel. Good grief. Okay. okay. Well, in that case, how do we get rid of these dinos? Ooh, uh, I haven't exactly thought that far out yet. Mm. We could look in God's word. The Bible's <gasps> always the answer. Oh, good thinking, Braxley. When we obey God's word, it brings glory to him, too. What was that? <laughs> was it that an airplane or a bird or a dino get with an eater? I hope it was that. It was our last reminder. Obeying God is how we can glorify him. Fritz, Braxley. Hey, how's it going? You're here, reporting Johnny Sundown. We found all our reminders on how to glorify God. Yeah, now I just need to get rid of these dinos. Mm. I knew you two could do it. We can discuss your reminders in a minute. First, let's put these dinos where they belong. <gasps> they could come back to the clubhouse to play with us. No, no. They need a better spot than that. Come here, fellas. Follow me. Bye, dinos. <sighs> Well, it looks like our mission is done. Back to the clubhouse! Woohoo! Well, I'm pooped, Kiki. I need to finish vacuuming. I'm going to take a good long nap. I mean, an evil long nap. Not that you helped at all. <laughs> I need to finish vacuuming first. <laughs> yeah, okay, and then I'm going to take... Don't get sharp with me. And you know, when I bought this, I thought this dirt devil meant something else, but it, it is actually a pretty good vacuum. <laughs> Actually, we finished that crazy Bible quest! And we got to see the real dinosaurs! Oh, oh, those seem a little too proper to be real dinosaurs. Come in, Fritz and Braxley. Thank you guys for helping me with this extraordinary mission. I could not have done it without you. Thanks for helping us find our reminders. Oh yeah? What were they? First, we can glorify God by loving Him. We can also glorify God by trusting Him. Lastly, we learned that we can glorify God by obeying Him. Those are great reminders. Did you know we were made to glorify God? So it's good for us to love, trust, and obey him. That's so cool. And Abraham glorified God with his son, Isaac. Oh, and remember our verse, Braxley? And, and I, I am, am sure of this, this that, that he who began, began a good work in you will bring it to completion, completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Christ. Philippians 1, 6. You two made extraordinary recruits. Remember to glorify God. Johnny out. Wow, what a day. Thanks for joining us on that crazy mission, kids. We'll see you next time for maybe a not so extraordinary of a mission. I think I can only track down dinosaurs once. children. It's me, I, Billy Buccaneer. And with me here is Alligator Austin. Oi, kids. And Peter the Pirate. That's me, Captain. And today, we be singing songs to Jesus. Are you ready, children? Say aye to your captain. That's be me. I didn't hear them. Say it louder, kids. Aye, captain. That's right. Aye, right. Captain. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, yeah, very good. Very good. I was a second. That was acceptable. Anywho, today we be singing a song called the Animal Song. Oh, I like Ooh. animals, Captain. Yep. It's when I get to heaven, I'm going to walk with Jesus. And when I get to heaven, I'm going to see his face with two eyes. And when I get to heaven, going to talk with Jesus, and I'll be saved by his wonderful grace. Do you know about grace, children? That is unearned, unmerited favor with God. 
That's a good thing. It is, Captain. Hey, uh, don't forget my favorite part, Captain. When you say saved, we are going to go we saved. Yell. When I say saved. 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 Wonderful, we saved. Aye, you got to aye, yell Captain. it as loud as you can. All right. It's and then at the end, we do an animal song. <gasps> an animal I, noise. I love animal noises, Captain. What animal sound are we doing? Uh, the first one. Let us do a wolf. A wolf. Ooh, aye, that sounds like this. Ow. 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 That'd be right. All right. Are you ready, Alligator Austin? Aye, aye, Captain. Take it away. Here we go, kids. When I get to heaven, gonna walk with Jesus. When I get to heaven, gonna see his face. When I get to heaven, gonna talk with Jesus. Saved by his wonderful grace. Jesus, I'm saved. 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 Wonderful saved. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Saved, 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 wonderful to save, and I'm so glad I am, hallelujah. Like the sound of a wolf. Oh, oh my goodness, Captain, there's actually wolves. There's no wolves, there's no wolves, there's no wolves. There's no wolves, there's no wolves. There's no wolves, there's no wolves. It's just Piazza. Oh, thank goodness, Silly Captain. Silly Peter the Pirate. I'm so scared of wolves. Uh, it's, you don't even know. It makes sense, we're on the ocean, there aren't wolves. What are we doing next? All right, this time, we need another animal noise, so... Mm, let's see. Peter the Pirate, do you have an animal noise? I do. In fact, it'd be a parrot where you go... Quack! <laughs> Polly want a cracker. Oh, that's really good. Can you kids do that? Awesome. Hey, Polly want a cracker. I used to have a parrot named Polly. That's adorable, Captain. I ran out of crackers, though. Okay. Here we go, kids. When I get to have a gun, I walk with you. When I get to heaven, gonna see his face. When I get to heaven, gonna talk with Jesus. Saved by his wonderful grace. Because I'm saved, 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 saved. saved. Wonderful, he's saved. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. And I'm saved, 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 saved. 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 Wonderful, he's saved. And I'm so glad I am. Wait, where's Polly? Where can I give her crackers? I don't know. Saltines? Saltines are delicious, Captain. Seven up? Mm. I'm not sick, Captain. What's next? All right, this time we need one more animal noise. And Captain, do you have an animal noise for us? I, I about a monkey. A monkey? What I sound does a monkey make? I have a pit monkey. Ooh, ooh, ha, 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 ha. You are a very convincing monkey, Captain. Yes, I played a monkey once in a play. You look like one, too. I... That is truly incredible. All right, here we go, one more time. When I get to heaven, gonna walk with Jesus. When I get to heaven, gonna see his face. When I get to heaven, gonna talk with Jesus. Saved by his wonderful grace, because I'm saved, 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 saved. wonderfully saved. Washed in the blood of the Lamb, and I'm saved, 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 wonderfully saved. And I'm so glad I am, hallelujah. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good monkey. Excuse me. Oh. That's a very convincing monkey. Lots of very convincing Aye. monkeys out there in the crowd, too. Yes. Good job, yes, kids. Yes, be there. Well, thank you for joining us today, children. Until next time, we be the praise pirates. Adios. Goodbye. Ahoy. Ah. I am Marty Maui, and welcome to another edition of The Mailbag! And today's big letter is from the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Church of Ancient Philippi. You can't get any bigger than that! And here it is! Whoa! The letter's huge! <laughs> it sure is. Hey, let's read verse 6 of chapter 1. And, and I, I am sure of this, that, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Christ. Philippians 1, 6. A verse so nice, let's read it twice. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and I'm sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1, 6. What a super radical verse. I'm glad that Jesus doesn't just sort of saves us, he completely saves us. Amen. It's a good thing that Jesus doesn't give up on us, too. That's right, Marty. Kind of like you gave up on that sub sandwich the other day. Clarence, 12 feet of sub sandwich is plenty. 
Well, you're right. And it is nice to know that God receives glory in our lives when we trust, love, and obey where he leads us. Absolutely. Giving glory to God is what this life is all about, my man. Oh, yeah. Well, dudes and dudettes, we'll see you on the surf side. Later, dudes. Late. <laughs>